There is absolutely no way we're meant to be in here right now. Yes guys, welcome back to the Matchday Experience. Today I'm currently at Cologne Airport. We've just arrived from Stansted and now we're getting the train to Bochum for today's big game, Bochum versus RB Leipzig. The Matchday vlog will already be out on my channel, but here's a little behind the scenes of what goes on in my German weekend. It all started in the early hours of Saturday morning as we had to catch a flight from Stansted to Cologne. There it is, Stansted Airport, 4.30 in the morning. After having arrived at the airport, it was time to find our gates before grabbing a quick coffee and heading towards the departure lounge. After successfully making it onto the plane, it was time to hit the skies for a relatively short flight to Cologne before travelling to Bochum for my first ever Bundesliga match. Tracking. Touchdown in Germany was followed by a two hour train journey towards Bochum's Hauptbahnhof for my Bundesliga experience and if you want to take a look at the video, the full version is out on my channel now, but here's a quick trailer. I was also fortunate enough to meet Bochum's manager and after my fantastic German football experience it was time to check into the hotel where not everything ran as smoothly as we would have liked. Okay guys, little travel update, we have arrived now in the hotel but everything is going wrong, we're having to move rooms, there then weren't any rooms, now there are two rooms but they're single rooms and it's just all going wrong. We got back from the game, Leipzig obviously lost and yeah we'll see what happens still haven't eaten yet either it's quite late Dortmund are winning 6-1 at the moment against Cologne um but yeah crazy day it is 8 30 at night German time and the city of Boca is pretty much deserted to be honest with you it's very very quiet and not a lot's going on okay then another little update we've just spent ages looking for food we found this burger place we're gonna go back to a hotel and eat it I'll let you know what it's like good news though I have now made the thumbnail for the video for the match day vlog which you would have hopefully already seen because it'll be up on my channel before this goes out but yeah we made progress haven't really started on the video yet so i've got quite a bit of that to do i'll let you know what these burgers are like also got myself a raspberry iced tea never had that one before so hopefully it'll be nice the food and drink was actually quite nice to be honest it is now morning the next day i've got black and yellow one because Today, at 12 o'clock, we're going to be doing the Signal Iduna Park Stadium Tour. I'm really looking forward to it, but first I have something to show you in this hotel. So despite having to be moved, they do actually have Sky Sports. So we had the Dortmund game on last night and the Formula One on this morning. All right, so we have checked out of the hotel now. We have just under an hour to get from Bochum Hauptbahnhof, the main train station, um, to Signal Iduna Park. I think it takes about 35, 40 minutes. We have a combined tour so you can walk around the stadium i don't think it's a guided one so we can just do what we like basically um, and then we can have a quick look at the museum as well which should be nice <laughs> fan clubs from all around the world love the black and yellow theme mm -hmm. 
Success has many fathers. 2004 was the rebirth of the club. Trust is without costing money, something like that. CEO. There we go then, I've just finished the Dortmund Museum tour and now we're hopefully going to be going to do the stadium tour. I'm assuming you just walk around, I don't think it's like a guided one or anything like that, but outside the stadium currently. It's a very, very nice one I have to say. It's a lot bigger than I actually thought, it's massive. Um, yeah, black and yellow is everywhere. It's a shame we couldn't come yesterday because we were actually originally planning to come to the game when they beat Cologne yesterday. But to be honest, I really enjoyed Bochum Leipzig. So if you haven't seen that video already, it will be out on my channel. So make sure you go and check that one out. But yeah, what a stadium. Absolutely huge. Signal Iduna Park, Dortmund's Academy. And once again, the actual stadium. Now going inside of Borussia Dortmund. We're in the Dortmund VIP bit. It's silent. There's no one here. And we found the sit split, so. But can we get outside? That's the question. Can we do it? No, nope, that's locked. Well, I don't really know where to go or what to do. There's no signposting or anything. There are people down there though, so hopefully we're gonna go and check that out. There's absolutely no way we're meant to be in here right now. There's another set of doors. There are people down by the dugouts, but we don't know how to get there. Okay, we've opened the door. I think that maybe the last one was open and I was just pushing it wrong, I don't know, but either way, this is Signal Iduna Park. Wow. Yellow wall. What a beautiful stadium. So we have made it currently by the VIP area. Not really sure what's going on or how we get down there. Little view from the seat. Hmm? Padded seat as well, look at that. I wonder how much this would cost. Okay, maybe not this. Bit, uh, bit of a restrictive view going on. That's lovely. Definitely get used to this. Lovely seat, great view. Okay, we worked out what to do. Oh, this is a nice bit. Look at that. Wow, that that is that's cool. You get your own like sort of leg room bit. Proper VIP section. Carpet. It's carpet as well. Very fancy. Very very good. Look at that. So you got the carpet there. All of this. That's where we just were. And you can't stand there. And there's the pitch. Let's go down. Let's... View from the seat, part two. That's a nice view. Like this, this height is pretty much the perfect one. We want to be a bit closer to the yellow wall. Wow. I don't really know what to say about it, if I'm honest. It's just, it's huge. It's like I said, it's bigger than I thought. The yellow wall does look a little bit weird though when it's not yellow, because right now it's sort of black and gray. You can tell where the fans stand because they've got all the safety bars like where we were yesterday. But, well, let's go pitch side. Get this. Wow. What a view that is. Pitch side. This is the front row. Some confetti here. So if we take a seat, it's actually... Oh no, it's quite close. It looked further away when I was standing up. Where the players come out and where they sit press up there still loads of confetti and then halfway line there it is signaled in the park the pitch we just worked out that we were in the wrong bit we uh we weren't following the times properly and ended up right at the top of the stadium where obviously we weren't meant to be but look how close you are to the pitch as well it's very quiet in here there aren't as many people as i thought there would have been with the graffiti, stickers, lots of rubbish around. But this is the yellow wall. It's where the ultras go over here. Lot 12. That's impressive graffiti. 
well. Food and drink, this is the concourse. It's quite a spacious concourse, actually. Could be a lot worse. And then as you walk out here, it's a big net, wow. And then you get the view from the yellow wall. You've still got Cajun and stuff here and the, uh, the net is very different to England. Part of me really wants to go to the back of the yellow wall, um, but unfortunately it's blocked off. Media room. Lovely view. Don't know what's in there. What's in here? Let's have a look. Not a lot. The Borussia Dortmund changing room. Got some of the players here. And of course. Through here, I'm guessing this shower's rack. Yeah, all in a pool in there. So, uh, it's a lovely stadium. Make sure to subscribe. We're trying to get 10,000 subscribers before 2024. <laughs> sure. Oh, this is the tunnel. This is the, yes, this is it. Has to be. There we go. It's very narrow. Having two sets of teams in here. Makes sense now. Changing rooms, walk through the media a bit in this tunnel with the badge. Ooh. Imagine walking through here on a match day. And here is the walk. where the players and managers sit. Got the pitch here. All right, view from the seat part three. How comfortable is it? <laughs> Could you imagine what the match day vlogs would be like if I sat here for a video <laughs> this close to the pitch, this low down, next to the players. Wow, I still can't go over the size of it. I knew it was a big stadium before. Um, but just how sort of tall it is and yeah. Keep off the pitch. Last look at the Westfalen Stadion and from the corner as well. Yellow wall there. So right, I might as well say it now. We're going home today. We're going probably to get something to eat and then to the airport. We're flying back from Dortmund. Obviously, we flew in from uh, Cologne and then we're flying back from Bo uh, Dortmund, which is handy because obviously we're here now. Um, wow, so many stickers and everything. This is the uh, away bit. And yeah, flying back tonight. Well, hopefully one day I'll come here to Dortmund as well and watch a game because it is a fantastic stadium and definitely somewhere that I'd like to come back to. We've walked a fair bit away from the stadium, but you can still see it if you look just through there. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go there. Uh, German Football Museum, I'm sure it's pretty cool. Been to the one in Manchester a couple of times for the English one. And now we are at Dortmund Hauptbahnhof, getting a train to the airport. Travel wise, everything just seems to be going wrong on this trip. I don't know why, but we got to the station here at about uh, 3.30, which was when the last bus left to go to the airport um, and they run every hour. So now we, it's four o'clock, we've been run, wandering around for half an hour. We can't get a train because it's like, it's too many changes apparently. We've spoken to a few people and they said the bus is the best route. So we now have to wait for half an hour and there's a, uh, a protest going on. There is a protest, don't know what it's for, 
um, and there are loads of police everywhere. So uh, yeah, this is not good. Alright, so we've been at the airport about three hours, probably just over, and now we're finally boarding the plane at night. The flight is meant to be 5 to 8, but it's about 5 to 8 now, we're not even on the plane. Uh, so hopefully we'll get to Stansted soonish. Um, but yeah, this is basically where the German trip ends up anyway. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, turn on notifications, and I'll see you when we're in England. And that is where this video ends. Thank you very much for watching. I may or may not be at a game this weekend. Haven't decided yet, to be honest with you. But anyway, I'm definitely going to be booking some big fixtures coming up. Some new stadiums as well. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.